on some skags with this rifle I found? Absolutely not, young man. You'll blow your head off. Now get back inside and do your chores. Oh, shucks. At this rate, I'll never get to kill anything. Holy Raxpit! It's Handsome Jack! Damn right it is. <laughs> I just came back from rescuing the space fixins of Eden 6, and I thought I'd check in with my number one fan. Hey, Justin, why the long face? My mom says I can't go hunting. Well, Justin, your mom sounds like a bitch. And how? If she had any brains at all, she'd know the rifle you hold in your hands is made by Hyperion, which means it's perfectly safe for children of all ages. Your words are music to my ears. Rest assured, Hyperion makes the most accurate, high-quality weapons in six galaxies. If you want to grow up to be big and strong like your pal Handsome Jack here, you better start practicing your marksmanship now. Seriously, do it now. Great idea, Mr. Jack, sir. I sure will. This message brought to you by the Hyperion Corporation. Well, hello, Mrs. Tedior. Hello, John. How are you? Worried. Oh, why is that? I desperately want to protect my family from the marauding hordes of psychos and perverts, but I don't have a lot of money to spend on home defense. Oh, John, you needn't worry. The Tedior Corporation manufactures high-quality weapons that anyone can afford. But, Miss Tedior, I lost both of my thumbs in a horrific foreplay incident, and I'm physically incapable of reloading guns. No problem, John. TDOR's Insta-Digistruct Reloading System gives our weapons faster reloads than any other manufacturer. Thumbs not required. How about that? If I were able to, I'd give that a thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs> I can't hold my own child. The following message from Mr. Torg does not reflect the opinions of the Torg Corporation itself. If you don't buy Torg guns, you're f***ing retarded! The previous message from Mr. Torg did not reflect the opinions of Torg Corporation itself. If killing is your business, you buy doll. Period. Our recoil-free weapons give you the reliability you need while on the job. When the deaths of others puts food on your table, you don't need fancy features. You need stability. You need a weapon you can trust. You need doll. In the heat of battle, there are only two things you can count on. Your gut and your doll equipment. When the mercs of Tantalus held off an entire Atlas Armada, they chose doll. When the last single-handedly defeated the swarms of the devoted, a doll assault rifle smoked in her hands. Through thousands of conflicts across just as many planets, the career soldier knows there's only one weapon they can truly count on. Doll. Because 68 billion enemy corpses can't be wrong. Stanton Doll always said there were three types of people in this universe. People who need to be killed. The people doing the killing. And the people who pay them. He founded the Doll Corporation for the second group. When you fight not for country, not for honor, but to put food on your table, there's only one weapons manufacturer with your interests in mind. The Doll Corporation. Come on down to Zed's Medical Supplies. Like I always say, better Zed than dying. Oh wait, I wrote that down wrong. Better dead. Better Zed than dead. Thank you. I'm Zed. If you get shot, uh, I'll heal you. Oh, wow. I really should have written down more, I guess. Uh, oh, well. Uh, say, how much time do I need to fill? Thirty seconds? Okay, well. Uh, I'm Sid. If you get shot, I'm all you got. Come on down to Dr. Zed's Medical Supplies. <laughs> Dr. Zed is not a licensed physician. His use of the word doctor is purely for aesthetic and stylistic effect. See also Pepper, Dre, Octopus. Zed will not be held accountable for anything that might befall patients under his care. Hi there. This is Ellie, owner of Ellie's Garage out in the dust. Just bought me some airtime so as I could get a quick message out to the Hoduck clan. <clears throat> Dear Hoducks, suck it! Love, Ellie. This here's Ellie from Ellie's Garage, letting you know that I can fulfill all your scrap metal needs. You need wheels? Got them. Mufflers? Got them. Those sharp little rusty bits that don't even know what they do, but they give you tetanus if you so much as look at them funny? Got 12 of those bitches. So come on down to Ellie's Garage, where our motto is, if you give me any lip, I'll throw your ass into a car crusher. If you need scrap, I'm your girl. Come on down to Ellie's Garage, and don't forget to kill a few hoducks on the way. Hi, I'm Ellie of Ellie's Garage. Come for the scrap battle, stay for the awkward flirting. So how 
Hammerlock speaking. Hunter, gentleman, grower of fine mustaches. I've an offer for you. If you buy my ten-volume almanac, which details the various deadly creatures of Pandora, you'll live longer. Simple, eh? No rush, of course. I'm still doing research for the book, and thus it won't come out for another few months. But it's never too early to start word of mouth, I say. Tired of being partially devoured by skags? Sick of not knowing how to stop a rampaging stalker in its tracks? Then you need to pre-order The Beasts of Pandora by Sir Hammerlock. That's me. Inside my book, you'll learn how to extricate yourself from any sticky situation, regardless of what flora or fauna is responsible for said stickiness. Remember, that's The Beasts of Pandora by Sir Hammerlock. If you don't buy it, you'll die. A hypothetical scenario for all you adventurers out there. A stalker has you cornered and unarmed. What do you do? Now, if you'd pre-ordered a copy of my almanac, The Beasts of Pandora, you'd know to stab the stalker through the soft underside of its skull. Alternately, you could use the book's considerable weight to physically stun the stalker before making good your escape. It's a very versatile tome, you see. The Beasts of Pandora by Sir Hammerlock. Available for pre-order now. Hi-ho, children, Sir Hammerlock here, just reminding you of the incredible pre-order bonuses I'm offering for my almanac, The Beasts of Pandora. If you pre-order now, I'll throw in a limited edition making-of pamphlet, which mainly consists of photographs of me looking incredibly bored at my writing desk. But that's not all. I'm also offering an exclusive cover for the book, which is slightly different from the regular cover, in that it is inscribed with the words, I pre-ordered this book before it came out, and am therefore demonstrably more wealthy than you, in large, neon-coloured letters. Order now. Do you live on Pandora? Do you love danger? Are you capable of reading? If you answered yes to two of the three preceding questions, then you need to pre-order The Beasts of Pandora by Sir Hammerlock. It's chock full of vital information on the various deadly creatures of Pandora, and if you're not interested in, say, words, you can always stare at the hellishly gory pictures I've sprinkled throughout the almanac. Pre-order now. Handsome Jack here. When I open the vault and destroy the destroyer inside, ironic I know, I had a Hyperion weapon in my hand. When I cleaned up the frontier and burned that bandit settlement of New Haven to the ground, it was a Hyperion pestle I held in my fist. And every goddamn day as I watch over this planet as its protector, as its champion, and as its hero, its Hyperion firearms I put my trust in. Hell, that's why I bought the goddamn company in the first place. This is Handsome Jack, and I'm signing off on Hyperion. What do you guys think? Accent uh, too much? Hey there, this is Handsome Jack reminding you that we at Hyperion are still offering bounties for Pandora's Most Wanted. Uh, the reward has risen to $8 billion for the bandit we know as Brick. Big guy looks like he survives on nothing but ground beef and roids. And hookers. Uh, we're also offering six billion dollars for the capture of ex-Underdome star known as Mordecai, as well as a smaller reward for the capture of his stupid little bird, Bloodwing. Oh, sorry, I, uh, it's backwards. Yeah, I read that backwards. It's six billion for the bird, twenty bucks for the has-been. My mistake. And as always, I'm personally willing to offer thirty billion dollars for the capture of the bandit leader known as Roland. Double that if you use Hyperion weapons to bring them down, okay? Okay. Uh, oh, and stop contacting us with questions regarding the bounty on the little freak show known as Lilith. Uh, the fugitive was confirmed dead months ago. Okay? All right. Handsome Jack signing off. Hyperion rules. We at the Jacobs Corporation have held a certain values through the years. Simple things, like family, honor, always aiming for the head. The Jacobs man ignores the mocking words of the ignorant. Your gun's too slow, they say. Your accuracy ain't nothing to write home about. And the Jacobs man nods, walks away, decapitates him with a single shot. Jacobs, a family company. Montgomery Jacobs here. When I was a young boy, my grandfather gave me a piece of advice I'll never forget. Grandson, he said, there's only one thing in this world more satisfying than the love of a fine woman or the taste of a hand-rolled cigar. And that's splitting a man's head in two with a single bullet. Down through the generations, the Jacobs Company has held true to those words. My family believes all the accuracy in the world don't mean a great deal if you don't got the power to back it up. Hence our family creed. If it took more than one shot, you weren't using a Jacobs.
This is Montgomery Jacobs here to tell you that before my grandfather was unjustly vilified for his views on Truxican immigration, he considered himself the luckiest man in the six systems. For he wasn't just a weapons manufacturer. He was the head of a family. Every courageous lawman who ever put a bandit in the dirt with the help of a Jacobs rifle, every humble homesteader who reaches for their Jacobs revolver when they hear rustling in the night, <laughs> they're all part of the Jacobs family. Won't you join us too? The voice of the Maliwan Corporation speaks. The hordes stand assembled, frothing at the mouth, thirsty for blood. They know not of the terror they shall feel, the beautiful destruction that will befall them. For in the hands of their ostensible victim, polished to a sheen, and wielding the power of every element under the sun, lies a Maliwan rifle, the Deus Ex Arma, the god in the weapon, Maliwan. Combat is an art. Maliwan weapons are the paint. Our elemental tech transforms the battlefield from a cacophony of idiocy into a masterpiece of destruction. The unwashed hordes will burn and fry and melt into a portrait of exquisite death. Maliwan. Beauty through destruction. Maliwan is pleased to offer technologically advanced weapons for the more discerning warrior. Every Maliwan gun places the power of the elements in your hands, the elegance of their form, matched only by the deadliness of their tech. This is Patricia Tannis. I'll skip the platitudes, should you value such meaningless spittle, and begin to list the things that will happen to you if Handsome Jack is allowed to open the vault. Number one, nachos will cease to exist. Number two, now that you're no longer knuckle-deep in the orifice of your choosing, seriously, nachos are gone! Number three, I'll be dead. Though I know you value my well-being less than nachos. Hmm, I had a thousand forty-six more reasons, but I'm being told I'm out of time. As the end of the world approaches, I'm allowing suitable mating material to submit to me headshots and various table furniture of your choosing. When mailing in furniture, please include a list of any of their likes or dislikes, in addition to any varnish allergies you are aware of. What? Me and the Ottoman are just friends. Unless he said something. Did he say something? <laughs> I swear he can be so crazy. LOL. This is Tannis, outies. This is a blanket announcement. I spent last night becoming inebriated and left 73% of my clothing in an undisclosed location within Sanctuary. Should you come across the 12 socks and two oversized pairs of archaeology trousers, please leave them on my doorstep with a considerable effigy and a thoughtful letter of apology. I, Patricia Tannis, preemptively accept your thank you. This is Crimson Radio, hitting your ears throughout the years. Reminding you that just because you gotta vanish somebody doesn't mean that you can't be nice about it. Crimson Radio's got a message for all the lovely killers in the wastes. Keep a bullet in the chamber and your sword at your side, but keep your mind wide open and your head held high. This is Crimson Radio, the voice of the frontier, with a cautionary tale. Take your finger off the trigger from time to time. Old buddy of mine took out an entire bandit camp, then got blown up by a bear he forgot about. Poor boy had nothing to second wind off. Stay safe out there, babies. Crimson Radio's here with three quick tips for creature killing. Stalkers, kill their shields. Skags, aim for the mouth. Humans, aim for the head. This is Crimson Radio, keeping you sane in the Pandoran wastes. It's a harsh world out there, gunslingers. Don't let it beat you. Another word of wisdom from Crimson Radio. Even when there's a fool in your crosshairs and murder on your mind, just remember, it costs you nothing to be kind. Crimson Radio urges you to keep a shock weapon if you're heading into stalker territory. You can't kill what you can't see. If you ever meet a skag, remember Crimson Radio's advice. Aim for the mouth. Watch out for those crystalisks, my babies. If you don't knock off their shiny bits, you're in for a world of hurt. Should y'all meet a Goliath, do everybody a favor and let them keep that helmet on. You wouldn't like them when they're angry. We've got some great music coming up on Crimson Radio, but now, some messages.
This is frequency 866, which means you're listening to Crimson Radio. And now, some jams. Crimson Radio's got word of a new vault hunter in Sanctuary. Sounds like even a bullet from Handsome Jack's gun couldn't keep him down. Remember that when things get tough, my brothers and sisters. Wherever you are and whatever you're doing here, remember to stay strong. Crimson Radio with some interesting news. Someone we'd all missed is back in Sanctuary. Without getting into specifics that make the H-men reach for their guns, I think I speak for us all when I say, Welcome back, beauty. Congratulations to the vault hunter who rescued our man Roland from the claws of Handsome Jack. Some people fight the power. That vault hunter put a bullet in its eye. Crimson Radio out. Sounds like somebody blew up a Hyperion train out in the Tundra Express. Cool. Crimson Radio out. This is Crimson Radio offering its best wishes to our friends in Sanctuary. Jack may have hit you, but that don't mean you can't hit him back. This is Crimson Radio asking for a moment of silence for the killingest bird in Pandora. See you on the other side, Bloodwing. Sounds like the Slab's got a new recruit. This is Crimson Radio asking you to go easy on them, boys. We all know how much you slabs love your hazing rituals. Rumors of Handsome Jack's assassination came pouring in to Crimson Radio. But stay cool, my babies. It was just a body double. Still, here's to wishful thinking. Handsome Jack has murdered Roland, our friend, our brother. Now is not the time for keeping cool, my brothers and sisters. Now is the time to pick up a gun and get to killing every Hyperion brother you see. Crimson Radio hears bad things coming from Handsome Jack's camp. Rumors of aliens and weapons and keys. This is a message for the Vault Hunter. You find Handsome Jack, friend, and you give him what he's got coming to him. This is it, brothers and sisters. Handsome Jack dies, or we do. It's all down to the Vault Hunter now. Good luck. Hell of a day, brothers and sisters. This is Crimson Radio saying that Handsome Jack is dead and Pandora is free. And we've got one person to thank for it, the Vault Hunter. Good job, my friend. Good job. This is Crimson Radio signing off. Hi. The TDR Corporation would like to tell you that for the cost of one Hyperion pistol, you could own three TDR submachine guns. That's nearly three times as many. Who needs fancy elemental tech or high damage when you can reload faster than you can blink? Order now and you'll receive the TDR Family Pack. Three shotguns, four assault rifles, and a teeny tiny rocket launcher for the kids. Makes a great gift. Mrs. TDR here. I'm not going to tell you that spending exorbitant amounts of money on weapons with silly features like elemental tech or increased damage will break the bank, leaving you so poor you're incapable of buying food, shelter, or medicine when you need it most, to the point where your desire for excessive personal protection ironically results in your own death. I'd never say that. I'm simply here to suggest that TDR's weapons are so cheap that you could easily buy an entire arsenal and still have enough money left over to, say, buy a car. Buy a house, not starve to death, TDR, because breaking your enemies shouldn't break the bank. Torg Munitions has a pop quiz for you, Skaglacker. You're surrounded by a dozen steely-eyed bandits. Do you A, roll them to smithereens with your Torg assault rifle, B, run and take cover, or C, calmly get them to put their weapons down, and you know the answer is A, buy a goddamn Torg gun! Did you know that 97% of all living things on Pandora aren't exploding right now? That's bullsh**! Bator! This is Comrade Vladov, the voice of the revolution! Now is the time to strike! Use our high fire rate weapons to topple the oppressors and take back your rightful freedoms! Listen well, brothers and sisters. If your finger ever leaves the trigger, their boots shall never leave your neck. In these trying times, the Vladov Corporation is certain of one thing and one thing only. They are coming. Coming to take your food, your home, your loved ones. Perhaps not today. Perhaps not tomorrow. But soon. And as they sharpen their swords and smile through their teeth at their subjects, Vladov has only one question to ask. Will you be ready to fight back? The Vladov Corporation reminds you 
that there are only two types of people in the universe. The oppressors and the oppressed. The oppressors cannot be swayed of words, cannot be bargained with. There is only one way to stop your corporate dictators. Bloody, bloody revolution! You must drown your oppressors in a storm of bullets. You will bury them under an avalanche of lead. And as you topple their towers of money and lies, they shall look down into the mobs of the disenfranchised and see one brand of weapon in every hand. Vladov! Vladov! Vladov!